Howdy, welcome to the show. Today we've got a broken uh, Samsung R580 laptop. The screen's all cracked and smashed, so we're going to do a replacement on it. Let's go. Okay, this particular model, the uh, R580, uh, has, uh, what is it, six little rubber grommets all the way around the actual panel of the screen. Obviously these are just stick-ons and they hide screws and these screws need to come out. So, just pull the little stick-ons off. And I would dare say that all six of them will hide screws. They're very easy to pull off, you can just use your fingers. There we go. Six of. And of course, these screws need to come out as well. Okay, hopefully it comes through on camera. I've taken the screws out, and as you can see, if you very gently uh, get your screwdriver in and start levering, there are a number of little plastic clips. Right, just when you start to lever, just make sure you get very close to the point. The plastic will give quite a bit as it starts to separate. You just need to do that all the way around the laptop. All right, now that we've done those six screws and we can actually see the panel, you will have cable connector running down there, that is the hinge connection here and here, Okay, hope you see that. These are the two hinges, uh, yeah, normal screen hinge mechanism, right? And there are uh, two screws in each one. Undo those and the panel, uh, aside from the wiring and the webcam, which we just need to mind, the panel will simply uh, lift away. I'm right, just gonna remove it from its mount. Okay, so there, is our LCD panel. Let's pull this back into screen a bit. Okay, so there is our LCD panel. You have some fairly delicate wiring. All right, coming up to the back of the panel here. Okay, so as you've removed the panel, when you get to this stage here, you'll see a little connector in here. And this one, um, all you need to do is, this is the main connector, LVDS connector. So pull the plastic from the panel, just lever it up a little bit and pull this down and the connector will come out. It requires a little bit of force, but it's not over the top. All right? You want to keep this connector. This is the connector connected to the motherboard. This will be reused uh, because the panels don't come with them. So you just need to gently unstick it. All right, so just gently unstick it from, and this has got a great number of wires going through, so you, just, you do need to be as careful as you can be whilst getting it to let go break any of these wires and you'll have to get a completely new 
cable. So unstick it from the screen. This one comes up here. Now with this part here, obviously this is your webcam and this is just a small uh, pin connector there. You can just carefully Okay, disconnect, and there is your little webcam module. Obviously you want that to go back in. Set that aside. And since you've done that, you actually have a completely removed and definitely broken. You can see the spider whip cracks in there. Uh, LCD panel. And that's what you replace. Uh, depending on where you get your panel from, uh, you will most likely not get these metal frame edges, as you can see there and there. It's just um, three screws on each side. All right, just three screws on each side takes those metal plates off, and obviously um, you put them back on when you're reconnecting your screen which we will do now. All right, the uh, replacement LCD panel has arrived and uh, as I mentioned earlier, on the edges of the panel, um, it doesn't have any of the framing that needs to come off the old panel, so do that now and put it on the new one. Okay, so there we go. Uh, the uh, replacement panel with the new edges on. And we've got our connector down here that you can remember from taking the LCD out. And we simply need to hook this back up and uh, reinsert it back into the laptop and start putting it back together. Not much more to it. And just remember as you're putting this back on its mounts, the uh, tabs that are part of the screen frame go underneath. You can see that one down here. It doesn't go on top, it goes underneath. Uh, these mounting screws that you can see just in this corner that go through the panel framing, and again, as I said, the frame's got to go underneath. The actual screw mounts are on the back of the, fr uh, back of the uh, lid, all right, the external part of the case. So you can't just screw this on, you have to sandwich the whole thing together. So in order to be able to do that, we're gonna to have to reconnect this. Okay, so that's basically it. This was straight across, so just tack it back down with the uh, sticky material already there. And the same with the webcam connector. I say cables connected, webcam is hooked up, and we'll start Connecting this back up. Now at this point, there's a little alignment um, hexagonal lug there. It looks like the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. And there'll be one on the other side. And that's how you align the screen being uh, ready for it to be screwed back together. My experience is just uh, do these up a little bit more than finger tight, but do not tighten. You wanna leave some slop until you've got both sides in and don't completely release the weight. Well, there you have it. Um, fully functional screen, once again. Very, very simple to do these ones. Uh, one of the easiest ones I've ever done, because uh, you don't need to do undo the connectors connected to the main board inside. So you really only have to get to um, the LCD itself from behind this bezel. A nice little um, design. 
So when you're finishing off, just click these all back in by finger. Just snap them back in, they should uh, go in quite nicely. All right, reattach the six screws around the edge of the laptop. And if you've con uh, kept these little um, rubber screw hiders, uh, put those back on as well. They should stick back on quite nicely. Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I hope you found that LCD replacement on the Samsung R580 useful. Uh, and I hope you will join me again next week.